This is what happens when a car battery had a splash of salt waters. Well, hope they had an insurance payout. This is yet another ship failed from Russia. A simple sign of why you don't splash seawater into batteries. Yes, it will burn. Just like what happened to these cars. The ship loaded with second-hand cars left Japan in the afternoon of June 24th, bound for Vladivostok with ETA June 26th. These cars were burned because the batteries were splashed with salt water. And in the end, not even a single car was left undamaged. Although the material losses obtained are certainly large, the good news is that all 25 crew abandoned the burning ship. According to Japanese sources, no injuries or casualties were reported. In this footage, a bulk carrier has crashes into the stern of a berthed container ship in Kaohsiung Harbor in Taiwan. The Taiwan-flagged bulk carrier China Steel Innovator hit the evergreen Panama-flagged vessel ever laden from behind while maneuvering. The footage also shows a tug trying to stop the bulk carrier from hitting the ship. According to the Taiwan newspaper, which revealed the images and video of the incident, the bulk carrier dropped its anchor to try avoiding the collision. Thankfully, there were no casualties. But both vessels obviously suffered some pretty major damage from the accident. In 2020, a season highlighted by weather-related cargo loss on the Trans-Pacific, the incident involving one Apis marked the worst by far and the worst in container shipping since the total loss of the MOL Comfort, which broke in two and sank with over 4,200 containers in the Indian Ocean in 2013. The 14,000 TEU capacity 1 Apis, operated by Ocean Network Express, was en route on Long Beach, California from China when it lost an estimated 1,816 containers overboard in heavy weather approximately 1,600 nautical miles northwest of Hawaii on November 30, 2020. Hundreds more were collapsed on deck. The loss was estimated to reach over $200 million, which makes this as the worst cargo losses incident related to bad weather that has happened to a cargo ship in the Pacific area. This clip teaches you the lesson of why you shouldn't fall asleep while driving a boat. Just look how the captain drove his boat right at the cargo ship in front of him without hesitation. Is he still sleeping after the collision? We bet he is, as we can hear one person in the cargo ship shouting, ASLEEP! ASLEEP! This is an example of how not to tow a vessel in a narrow canal. The most expensive icebreaker in the world failed on the Salina Canal. It was set at a 45 degree angle to the signal axis. The icebreaker built at the Damon Galati shipyard, whose final price is more than $2 billion and considered the most expensive vessel of this type in the world. This incident took place due to wrong maneuvers made by tugs towing the newly built icebreaker. In narrow channel or river, it's very recommended to have at least one small tugboat on each side of towing vessel for being assistance. So, lesson learned. Probably the guidelines and approval of towing vessels must be strictly observed. This incident reminded the public of a similar event in 1991 when the Ukrainian ship Rostock ran aground on the Danube near Partizani and could only be removed piece by piece. The shipwreck severely affected navigation in the area for several years, requiring the digging of a new signal to divert river traffic. The footage this time is from Vietnam. The larger fishing vessel appeared to be headed directly for the smaller vessel that was anchored on the river's edge. Perhaps the captain fell asleep or believed there was enough room for him to get through, I guess his only option is to prepare to make up for the damages. A Pelni ship from Indonesia kept moving backwards due to an engine issue until it eventually struck a few boats employed by the Indonesian army. It's easy to observe how the big ship is destroying the boats behind it by crushing them. We guarantee that the Pelni ship's entire crew will receive a push-up punishment as a result. What do you think? The fact that many incidents like this happen in Indonesia doesn't surprise us at all. This place is a full-time chaos. But what a very heartbreaking moment for the fishermen whose boats got hit by the big coal barge in Kalimantan, Indonesia. The poor fishermen could be seen running towards their boats but to no avail. Well, let's hope that they can get compensation for the damage though. At least no one was injured during the incident.
This is a really scary video, which shows how carelessly a ship's crew handles a tugboat using the ship's crane. It seems that the crew is either trying to put the boat onto the ship's deck or into the water, but which miserably fails in the end. What's more surprising is that the crew's inefficiency to control the boat, which swings uncontrollably as the crew tries to manage it using ropes. The in charge of the operation even comes close to a near miss accident as the tugboat swings into his direction but obstructed by the ship's structure. However, immediately after a few seconds, the scariest and the most unexpected thing happens. The rigging breaks and the boat falls into the water upside down. Luckily, the crew members were clear and no one was hurt. This is the moment a brand new ship capsized seconds after it was launched in the Indonesian capital. Footage filmed back in 2012 shows the disaster unfold. The launch appears to be going fine as the new vessel slips backwards into the harbor, but then it suddenly begins to list and capsizes. The man recording on another boat seems to find the incident hilarious and he and some of his colleagues pose for photos with the backdrop of the capsized ship. This was one of the worst ship launches failed ever caught on camera. Look at how the ship suddenly slipped and then flipped. Surely the blame goes to the one who's operating the procedure. Can you imagine how much the compensation will be? That must be very expensive. Hey, Captain, where did you get the license, huh? Imagine when you enjoyed your catch, then suddenly a fishing boat hit you like this. We bet somebody is in pretty deep trouble. The damage is not too big, but surely he will head to his boss's room shortly. A Russian Navy upgraded frigate Marshal Shaposhnikov tried and failed to launch a test caliber NK cruise missile during trials in his footage. The Marshal Shaposhnikov, Russia's upgraded Project 1155M frigate, tried to launch a test version of the caliber cruise missile, but almost immediately after launch, the missile went into uncontrolled flight and crashed close to the ship itself. As a result of the incident, the ship itself and its crew were not injured. The frigate Marshal Cheposhnikov underwent repairs and an upgrade by the Daldevord Ship Repair Center in Valdivostok in the Russian Far East. During its upgrade, the Project 1155 large anti-submarine warfare ship Marshal Cheposhnikov was converted into a multi-purpose frigate capable of fighting ground, naval and underwater targets. But well, that was a very close call. This fishing boat struck a police boat in Indonesia as a result of the hazy conditions. It must have been an unlucky day for these fishermen. For this incident, the police demanded that they pay them 30 million rupiah or $2,000 for the damages. Because of the weather, we believe the fine is excessively severe. As you can see, the visibility is practically non-existent. Not at all a good day for these unfortunate fishermen. These cars will be tricky to start in the morning. In this footage, new cars are delivered to Russian port caked in several inches of ice due to the freak weather. These vehicles coming all the way from Japan to dock at the port in Valdivostok in Russia, but owners still might have to wait a bit more than usual to get them. Why? Because of our ruthless mother nature. Having faced extreme weather conditions during transit, the cars arrived at Russia's largest port on the Pacific Ocean, encapsulated in thick ice. Unusually cold and windy conditions meant the Toyotas and Hondas were plated with a thick layer of frozen sea water on arrival in Valdivostok on board the Sun Rio Ro Ro cargo carrier. The frozen vehicles had to be hoisted off the deck by a crane in temperatures of negative 19 degrees Celsius in Russia's Pacific capital. It's quite common for vehicles to arrive in this state during winter, and when that happens, sailors break the ice before unloading them from the ship. They apparently use everything from regents to fire hydrants to the good old crowbar. And yes, sometimes the cars are damaged in the process. This was a very tense moment when a passenger ship was overturned when it was about to lean back to drop the passengers. Ferry KMP Billy capsized and sank alongside Pierre at Perry GPI Jetty, north of Pontianak, West Kalimantan, Indonesia, in the afternoon of February 20th, 2021. 
Rescuers searched for hours to find out if there were any people, crew or passengers trapped inside capsized vessel. The ferry most likely lost stability and capsized due to the faulty ballasting and cargo vehicles positioning on cargo deck. The ship also lost its balance because the passengers only got off from one side. Although it looks terrible from the footage, the good news is that there were no casualties because of this incident. These were the top 15 ship collisions and mistakes captured on camera. Which one of these fails shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you want to see more exciting videos like this, make sure to hit the like button and remember to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one soon.